Fifty years ago, on October 3, 1965, the new Hinsdale South High School celebrated its opening dedication ceremony. The journey to arrive at that ceremony took many years and involved many important decisions. The Hinsdale Township High School District 86 Board of Education in 1955 purchased 43 acres on 75th Street between Plainfield Road and Route 83, in the middle of cornfields at the time. Darien was not incorporated as a city until 1969, so at the opening ceremonies, South's address was in Willowbrook. The enrollment at Hinsdale Central in 1961, known then as Hinsdale Township High School, exceeded its 2,100 student capacity and was projected to keep rising. The Board of Education had a choice, expand the original school or build another high school. Citizen study committees, educational advisors, and the high school administrative staff, the school board, and the Parent Teachers Association all carefully studied the future high school needs and agreed a second high school was needed. So a referendum was passed in 1962. They proposed that the second high school would duplicate in every respect the facilities, curriculum, quality of teaching, and administration of the present high school. The initial enrollment would include only 418 freshmen and sophomores, so the first graduation ceremony was for the class of 1968. The cost to build Hinsdale South High School was $4.5 million. Once the decision to build the new high school was made, the next decision was what to call the new school. The school board had purchased land in Oak Brook for what might have been a third high school. So with that in mind, the school board decided to call the original school Central and the new school South, with the possibility that the third high school would have been named North. Even though the growth of the district did not necessitate that third high school, the names Central and South remain. South's first principal was Mr. Les Murray. Mr. Murray was charged with hiring his faculty and coaching staff during the spring of 1965. A number of high school township teachers were hired to teach and coach at South. Head coaches Chuck Schrader, Bob Thomas, Paul Atkinson, Ed Puck, Charles LaCrone, and Jerry Leggett met with newly appointed Assistant Principal Athletic Director Buford Daniel in the student center of the newly built high school during the spring of 1965. Several freshman student athletes were part of the group. They were given the task of deciding on the colors and mascot of the high school. The mascot was chosen first. A few possibilities came up. Angels, as opposed to Red Devils, was mentioned but was thrown out, as was Vikings. The alliteration of Hinsdale Hornets seemed intriguing and distinctive. They found only two other high schools in the state that had the name Hornets as their mascot. Coach Leggett, the biology teacher in the group, noted that the Hornets are of the Vespa class and are black and gold. They had it. The Hornet, with its prominent stinger and arms on his hips, was chosen. The band director at Hinsdale Township High School wrote the school song. Since this October 3rd, 1965 dedication, over 20,000 students have graduated from Hinsdale Township High School. Most of these students look back very fondly on their experiences and relationships that they made during their time at South. Today, we honor nine of these graduates for their outstanding contribution to the school, their community, and the world after they graduated. These graduates will now offer you the current high school Hornets their memories of South, and some valuable words of advice. Hi, Hinsel South. Thank you again for having me. My message to all of you is simple. I truly believe that every single person in the world can achieve their dreams. But this requires two things, passion and determination. Passion is a prerequisite to success simply because you won't be able to do something truly special unless you love what you do. Find something that you can spend your day and night working on and use that drive and energy to help you succeed. Determination, that's what keeps you from giving up when the going gets tough. Some days will be the best in your life and others will be absolutely awful. But fight the good fight and look at the long game so you can push yourself and get one step closer. With these two things combined, you'll find something you'll love to spend your life working on and nothing will be able to hold you back. And even if it's harder than you thought, at least you'll be having fun. All the best everyone and enjoy high school. It's an awesome time. Go Hornets!
Hi, good morning. I'm Pam Baker, and I'm beyond honored to be inducted in the Hinsdale South Hall of Fame. I have a few things, a few messages for the students at Hinsdale South, the present Hornets. The first is you always have choices in life, so remember that. If you're in a situation where you can't see those choices and what they are, get together with somebody, a friend or a parent or somebody you're close to, your coach or a teacher, and they'll help you find those choices, but you always have choices. I want you to always look forward, never look back. You're young, you're gonna make mistakes in your life. Learn from those mistakes, pick up your luggage of life and move forward, don't ever go move backwards. That's important. With hard work and dedication, I promise you, you can accomplish anything in life you want to do, as long as it involves hard work and dedication. So remember that, always. Anything you do in life, in particular the profession you choose, attack it with great passion and perform that task with 100% effort 110% of the time, and you will be successful. Don't be a hater. Haters going to hate, and what I mean by that is if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem, and therefore you're a hater. So if you're spending time with people who are constantly saying, I hate when people make fun of gay people, or I hate when people make fun of overweight people, and you're not saying anything, you're as bad as the haters. So don't be a hater. Be a part of the solution. Never be a part of the problem. Family first. I truly believe that. That's my mantra in life family first. And with that said, you need to know that here at high school at Hinsdale South, this is a small community. It's like a small family. So you need to find your niche here at Hinsdale South, something that you can be passionate about and put in 110% toward. Support the people that are involved in that program, whether it's football or drama or badminton, whatever you're involved in and attack that and become part of that community, part of that family. That will help you later in life. In any job, any other community you become a part of, to be involved in that community. Put in the effort to be a part of that community. Never forget who you are. That's the most important thing I can tell you. Never forget who you are. You are nobody else in the world is like you are. You are a very special person, and never forget that. Celebrate that. Celebrate that in yourself. Celebrate that in other people. Um, the secret of success in life, to me, is how many lives you touch, not how monetarily successful you are. If you end up being president of the United States or the CEO of a company or you invent something amazing and you end up being a gazillionaire, is not as successful to me, in my eyes, as when you touch as many lives as you possibly can. And the last thing I'm going to tell you is something I probably shouldn't even mention, but you know how people always say that high school is the best four years of your life? It isn't. They lie. College is way better than high school. So if you work hard in high school and you get to go to college, you'll know what I'm talking about. So thank you again. Hi, good morning. I'm Denny Karnstead, I'm a former teacher and coach here at Hinsdale South. Having been a Hornet for almost 45 years of my career makes me obviously have extremely strong feelings for Hinsdale South. That's why this is such an honor to, to be bestowed uh, the recognition of being on the Wall of Fame. I can't tell uh, anybody how appreciative I am and thankful to all that were concerned in, in getting this uh, position. I feel also, having been a high school student many, many years ago, it qualifies me uh, uh, to reasonably explain uh, the choices that you have as a high school student. Um, I worked for 30 to 40 hours a week uh, during my high school years and so it didn't leave much time to get involved in high school. And consequently, I, my high school memories are very minimal uh, in terms of good times and friendships. Um, 
that had linger on to this day. Since then, uh, I've lived uh, uh, by the guideline, you only get into life what you put into it, because I obviously didn't put much into my high school career. Uh, so through Hinsdale South, um, although Hinsdale South for you is a, should only be a stepping stone to your future, um, I think it's really important that you get involved because of the activities and relationships that can be established here at South uh, can linger on and provide rewards well into your life after Hinsdale South. There are so many resources, activities, and people here uh, willing to help you find that thing that will make these four years uh, important and relevant uh, to the rest of your life. Um, my advice to you is to get involved in something that's fun, uh, that you're going to enjoy, <clears throat> and that you're going to be committed to. That's a very important part of it, uh, because how committed and dedicated you are will be your input, and that's when it comes back. That's when Hinsdale South can give back to you uh, those things and those qualities that will be important in your life from that time. Choose that, uh, which uh, uh, will hopefully make a good experience uh, for you and, and those that uh, surround you. Um, I think that you find that your days uh, as a hornet, if you do that, will be much more rewarding and much more fulfilling uh, and may even lead to provide interests uh, in your future life beyond Hinsdale South. Good luck in your remaining days and may Hinsdale South, may you leave Hinsdale South with the feeling I had of always being proud of being in the Hornet Nation. Thank you. Good morning, Hinsdale South. I want to thank the Foundation for selecting me to represent the first decade of Hornet history and be part of this impressive group of 50th anniversary inductees into the Hall of Fame. Being in the first graduating class, we were always the top dogs. From sophomore year on, we were able to take on leadership roles, and I took advantage of those opportunities in a variety of activities, from class board to cheerleading to intramural sports. Yes, girls, there weren't sports teams for girls back then. The impact of these experiences in and out of the classroom at Hinsdale South helped to define me and my career as a teacher in a high school not too far from here. Being the first in my family to attend college, my teachers had an important role not only in challenging me in the classroom, but also in encouraging me and directing me to reach my career goals. One teacher, Pat Norman, imparted to me the love of languages and cultures, and this would become my future area of specialization. Another inductee, Mark Timko, said that Pam Baker, who's here with us today, she's one of the inductees, taught him that achieving greatness comes through lots of hard work and dedication. And Jeff Swada praised his resource teacher, Ryan Mott, who helped him overcome his disability with vision and find success in his classroom here and beyond college and in his career. Those teachers that are the toughest are the ones you'll appreciate when struggling in a college class or on the first day of that big job. The coach who challenges you may be the one that you remember when closing that first big deal in a sales career. Have you ever thought about the impact you're having on the lives of others? It might be right here in the halls of Hinsdale South and in your classes when you smile at a new student or when you um, encourage an athlete going on to a big match or when you help a student struggling with a problem or maybe you thank a student for the help that they gave you. The impact others have in your life is as important as the actions and the words and the impact that you have on the lives of others. And I think of, I hope you'll think about this as you go into the new school year and also as you go into your future careers. Good luck, buena suerte, bon chance, and go Hornets! This is Manu Raju over at CNN. Behind me, of course, is the United States Capitol. Uh, that's where members of Congress work every day, and that's where I work every day. I, I am a political reporter uh, over at CNN where I cover Capitol Hill, and I cover also uh, 
2016 campaign politics. Uh, I both write for CNN.com and I also am regularly uh, on TV for CNN reporting on the news. Um, I have, uh, I'm a graduate of Hinsdale South from 1998, a proud graduate, uh, and then I went to uh, University of Wisconsin in Madison, where after I graduated in 02, I moved out uh, to DC and I've been covering politics ever since. Um, and what I will say is that, you know, you, you, you will succeed in this world uh, if you really are, uh, work very hard. And that sounds rather obvious. Of course, if you work hard, you think you'll succeed, but you will. It'll set you apart from so many other people uh, in this world. If you really put your mind to something, you will be able to overcome adversity. And trust me, you will have adversity. Things don't get handed to you. Things don't, a lot of people expect that they will, but they don't. And sometimes things don't go your way. So what do you have to do? Think about the long game. You're, this is a long time in this world. You're gonna live a long and hopefully happy and healthy life. Uh, and there are a lot of things that you can do and you can succeed, whether it's things like taking care of your family, which is in course of incredible importance, but also being a good person in your community and being very successful in your career. Those are things that you can achieve and don't listen to people if they say that you can't do it or if you have a setback, think about the long game, you will be able to overcome any sort of obstacle or adversity in your way. Good luck to all of you and I wish you the best in an awesome school year. Hello Hornets. It was during my four years at Hinsdale South High School that I changed the most. I grew in size, strength, self-confidence, and experience. I learned the joy of social relationships beyond that of my family. I learned the expectations inherent in being a member of a community. I learned the dedication it takes for self-improvement. And I learned the value of the Oxford comma. If there's one thing that I would like to share with today's students, it would be the following. This is an extremely large and diverse world that we live in. Don't miss out. Explore it, live in it, and learn from it. Don't pick a job, pick a field of endeavor. Don't pick a person to marry. Marry the person you can't live without. Don't be bound by others' expectations. They have their life, and now you have your own. Make it your own. Find a way to be of service in your work, community, and relationships. And above all else, don't ever be afraid to try. Failing at something you love is far better use of your time than succeeding at something that gives you no joy. Don't let fear ever stop you from following your passion. Life is short. You only get one. Find a way to make yours matter. Hello, Hinsdale South. My message to you is really simple. There's no such thing as I can't. Being legally blind, I was confronted with a lot of obstacles growing up and told by many people I can't do certain things. Like, I can't go on a high adventure trip to Canada, which I did. Or I can't finish high school. But I was able to graduate from Hinsdale South with straight A's and be a member of the National Honor Society. I can't go to college. But I was offered a full ride to the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign with a lot of hard work and coming up with solutions to problems like how do you be successful in a classroom if you can't see the whiteboard? I was able to get my bachelor's degree in food science with a minor in chemistry, graduate at the top of my class, and get the recognition a bronze tablet. I was told that being legally blind made it nearly impossible to work efficiently and effectively in a laboratory at the graduate level. But with the aid of a Jonathan Baldwin Turner Fellowship, I was able to come up with creative solutions to problems like, how do you measure liquid in a beaker if you can't see the liquid or the beaker for that matter? These solutions allow me to finish my research, get my doctorate, and graduate with honors. Being legally blind also posed challenges to getting a job in the professional arena. But I'm currently a professor at Michigan State University, advising undergraduates in the food science department, teaching a variety of courses from unit operations to fruit and vegetable processing, and also researching many different areas of food, from processing papaya and strawberry, to antioxidants and honey or chocolate, or whatever else interests me. So with that said, you can do anything you put your mind to. It might take a lot of work, you might have to overcome a lot of obstacles, 
but you can do it. I wish you the best of luck with your future and thank you. Hey Hornets, it's great to be back and I'm honored to be here today. I just wanted to pass on a couple thoughts I wish somebody had passed on to me back when I was in high school. First off, find a good balance in your life between academics, athletics, the arts, and your family. Follow that up by mastering your communication skills. Throughout my career, I've had the privilege to work with many outstanding individuals and they've all demonstrated these secrets to success. They're all well-rounded, easy to get along with, and could communicate their thoughts and ideas effectively. The ability to effectively communicate is a skill that will benefit you in almost any career you choose, and lacking that ability will hold you back. You can be the most brilliant individual in your field, but if you can't effectively communicate your ideas to others, that brilliance will be wasted. Get comfortable speaking in front of a group and hone your writing skills. In most jobs, you're not going to have to write a five-paragraph essay on the themes of Animal Farm or the Scarlet Letter, but you will have to document your work in plain English and justify its value to a customer or your management. On the balance side of the equation, never lose sight of the big picture. There's more to life than getting straight A's in every AP class you take, or being the star athlete on three sports, or having the lead in every musical, or winning every competition you enter. Perfection is not the goal. Maximizing your potential is. Hinsdale South provides you with every opportunity you could need for success. And I credit the school for getting me started on the right path to a career in life that's led me back to this point. I'm proud to be a Hornet and alumni of Hinsdale South. So much so that my wife Nancy and I made it a point to live in this district so that our kids could be part of the same Hornet tradition of excellence. So if none of what I said relates to you or gets you motivated, let me share a short clip from this summer's Masters National Diving Meet that I just competed in last month. When there's some obstacle in your life that just seems impossible to overcome, I want you to think of this video of Tom Harabedian. At the age of 91, Tom is the oldest active Masters diver in the world. If he can muster the courage and strength to do a backflip off a 10 meter platform at the age of 91, you can dig deep and overcome any obstacle in your path. Thanks again and go Hornet Nation.